was like, five minutes in advance. So. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> so, <laughs> Center, inhale, exhale, inhale to tune in. Um. forward. We're really working towards the heart space at the beginning of this Kriya. Exhale, round it back. If your palms down, it should feel a little bit more natural. Mentally aligning a mantra with the breath. Sat as you inhale, Nam as you exhale. seconds remaining. <sighs> Inhale, center. Hold the breath, pull the root, feel your heart space right around the center of the chest. Inhale a little bit more. And exhale. <sighs> Relax. Let's take a few breaths. <sighs> Big deep belly breaths. That energy draw from your root all the way up to the crown as you inhale, then it brings back down as you exhale. Palms down again on the knees. Gonna inhale, the chest goes one way and forward, exhale, rounding it the other way and back. So we're just circling the pelvis and the hips and the rib cage. Feel that there's a separation of ribcage and hips as you move. Go one way for a minute and then the other. Oftentimes with these motions, if we don't go all the way to maximum, 
it helps us really get into the space. Reverse directions. Center, hold the breath, pull your root. Just squeezing internal muscles like you're stopping gas in urine. Inhale a little bit more. Cannon breath through the mouth, let it go. Puh. Hold the breath out, squeeze rectum, sex organs, navel, and diaphragm in that order. In and out. The shins. Inhale, flexing the spine forward, exhale, rounding it back. So just really rocking the pelvis is where this motion starts. You may start slow. If you want to go fast to really draw the energy up, you just go smaller. seconds really speed it up inhale Hold. and exhale relax Beautiful. so we'll come sitting on the heels these next couple exercises if you're sitting on the heels is uncomfortable, you can sit up on the edge of a chair, you can put a pillow under your ankles, in between your bum and your ankles, or just forward it all together. So hands on the thighs, inhale, flexing the spine forward, exhale, rounding it back. Spinal flex focuses around Manipura, the third chakra, 
which on the front side of the body is related to a little bit under the belly button. On the back side, it's right around the solar plexus. that space and to the align the mantra sat nam with the breath shoulders are relaxed center, hold the breath, just lightly pull up on your root lock, it's the internal muscles, inhale a little bit more, exhale, release, relax, bring our hands to our shoulders if this is comfortable. If not, you can do field gold arms or just have the arms straight out to the sides. Or if you do have shoulder injuries like you, Jana, you can just kind of grab opposite elbows. But if we're here, great. We'll inhale, twist left, exhale right. Ideally, we have the upper arms parallel to the ground, but if that's not available, you just adjust. Really, the point here is twisting and also opening up the heart center. For me, I have to modify with a strong bend or weaker bend in the arms. Inhale, center, hold the breath, pull the elbows back, however this manifests for you, open the heart, squeeze your root, feel your heart space charging with that energy. Pulling it up, and exhale through the mouth, let it go. And we'll come off the heels. This particular Kriya is just good for clearing a little bit of the energetic space around our chakras. And then we're gonna do some Qigong and work to bring in some of that earth and water energy just through us to cleanse our fields. We kind of live in an area, in an era where there is so, like the energy is just thick in the air and it is both uplifting and oppressive simultaneously. So it's like we're being squished in this bubble. <laughs> and um, it's kind of a weird thing, honestly, but this is like the epoch of dualities, you know, we're in that adjustment phase from going from just being asleep to awake as a society, so naturally it's going to be like we're being pulled and pushed simultaneously. I'm sure you guys have felt that. <laughs> I know I have! <laughs> Sometimes it's like, what is this? And that's okay. Um, that's why we work to cleanse and just like try to purify ourselves and like show up and, and calm ourselves so we're not so affected by the external forces that are at play. Hands on the knees, inhale, shrug the shoulders, exhale, let them fall. This may be a small motion, it may be fast, it may be slow. So whatever your body's calling for, one minute here. <coughs> Aligning the mantra, sat nam with the breath, sat as you inhale, nam as you exhale. The faster you go, the smaller the motion, the slower you go, the bigger you can do it.
Inhale, shrug. Hold the breath, pull root. Exhale, release, chin towards the chest. Just circle the head one direction. Go small if you have neck pain or if there's any clickies, just make it smaller or avoid the areas. These neck circles are more for releasing energy and less for stretching. If you want to stretch the neck, you hold in a position so it should be nowhere near maximum. Next time you're forward, reverse directions. circle. Release. Roll the shoulders a couple times. Shake the arms out. And we'll be coming to cat cow. <laughs> so for the first minute we're just gonna hold the cat variation or cow. So we're pressing the... That's the cat. Oh yeah, this is the cat. So yeah, we're just pressing the um, lower back up, the head goes down. Is it okay? <laughs> the head is down, the pelvis forward, and just, if you can here, breath of fire, equal inhale, exhale through the nose, pumping the diaphragm, if that's not, Great for you right now, just do long deep breathing. Now I'll start doing cat cows normally for just about a minute here. Start from the tailbone and then work your way up. Whether you're going fast or slow, start the motion at the low spine. Twenty more seconds. And now press the tailbone up, the head goes up, hold the breath, squeeze root. And exhale, just come out of it however is comfortable. You may go back into child's pose, you may just come up. And shake the arms out. It's whatever serves your body in this moment. <clears throat> then we'll come back to easy pose. Or however is easiest for you. If you're on the heels, that's okay. Then we're gonna do shock depose for one minute. This is an over the head motion, so if your like, shoulder is not feeling it, you can just do one hand, because really the point is to hover the hand over the head and try to feel that space in between the crown and your head. So we come to Venus lock, interlace the fingers. Uh, women, your right thumb should be in the fleshy mound of the left hand, men reversed, unless if you wanna connect to opposing energies, it could be good to reverse that. We bring the hands over the head, close the eyes, and just breathe deep. See if you can move the energy up the spine to the crown as you inhale and bring it back down as you exhale. Just see that motion. The 
we're going to spend a little bit more time with this as we do Qigong. down to our backs for a couple minutes before we bring ourselves up to practice Qigong. So come lying on your back, however is most comfortable for you. Wiggle around. And as we're in this space today, we're going to do the Maha Mantra. It's just the letter M repeating. We're humming. As we do this, I just want you to feel the vibrations in your body. So eyes are closed, body feels soft, your whole body relaxes. <coughs> and inhale to begin. Mm. are felt within the physical form and sense the energy around you and how these vibrations help bring it into balance. into the hands and the feet, then a big full body stretch. <sighs> mm, 
pull the knees in towards the chest, rock side to side a couple times. And then we'll come center, lift the head up, rock back, rock forward, and we'll come all the way up to stand. But you can't do this. Rock your way up to stand. It's not the smoothest thing for everyone. My. Yeah. <laughs> Did that make you both lie at it? <laughs> yeah, because I'm really trying to go for it. Like, yeah. like whoa! <laughs> I guess I'm really used to that lightness, so the way I sense it is different than other people. Um, I don't mind it, I just wasn't ready right. for it. I wasn't prepared to, for like him to come. Yeah. I'm well, hopefully. Sure. I was pretty sure I was gonna. <laughs> yeah. Which, you know. Yeah, it's just the equilibrium. Water splashing. Yeah. Whew. All right, so let's make, if you can bring the sides of your feet together, this helps to loosen the knees. So as we do Qigong, we do not want any of our joints maximized. So as we're moving the arms, there's a slight bend, there's a slight bend in the fingers, the hips feel loose, the knees feel loose. So eyes closed, just feel your feet. Just explore out your joints from the tips of your toes to the crown of your head, down the arms. Just anything feels like it has some stagnation or tension, maybe shake it out. Just look at it with your mind for a moment. Typically there'd be a whole series of waking up the energy in the body before we did this, but we kind of did that with Kodalini. We'll just do some of this external stimulation to start. So hands together, rub them. Palms to the temples. Tap around on the scalp. Palms to the ears, rub. Release, shake them out. Now we'll step the left foot a little bit wider than our hips. Make a fist with the thumbs on the outside. Take an inhale. As we exhale, tap down one arm, and then inhale up, and then the other. Go slow. One side on both arms, one more time on both sides. And both hands over the navel when you complete. Again, fists very soft. We'll start tapping right at the kidneys. Tap all the way down the backs of the legs. Open the hands as you get to the bottom and tap with the fingertips around the toes and then slap the inner legs all the way up around the pelvis and back to the fists at the back. <clears throat> Again, going slow, intentional. cycle. <clears throat> we'll come to the navel. Maybe 
maybe feeling a little bit of a lightness here. Or get some rushes of energy. At any point you feel like you may fall out or something, you just sit down. <laughs> we don't fall out here! So we're going to do a practice called... Actually, I don't remember the name of it, but... We'll bring the feet wider than the hips. You may splay the toes out a little bit. We're going to reach down, grab a ball of energy from the ground. And then as we inhale, we bring it all the way up, 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 through the crown. The hands turn out as we get over and through the aura, just bringing it back down. And then reaching down, grabbing that energy, feeling it in your hands. It's almost as we're moving through water, you can feel the weight of it. Almost lightness though. You can feel cold or warm manifest at different times and different places. If you have the eyes open, just a very soft gaze, but you may close the eyes if this serves. Really slow these last few down. Feel that space in between your hands and your body and how they are one and the same. This life force flows through us all the time. We just really have to allow it to pull in new energy and release energies that do not serve us anymore. Finish the one you're on and do one more. Make it the slowest you've managed. You'll come back to the lower down turn and step the feet together. Feeling a softness in the joints. Noticing whatever's present. If you feel pressure somewhere in the body, this can be stuck energy. And it's okay to have that. We just get it in our awareness. We start to kind of dig at it. Just move with intention. And eventually we can get it out. Sometimes it's fast, sometimes it's slow. So let's do a practice called letting go. Release the hands, step the feet a little bit apart. I'm gonna start with the hands, palms up in front of the navel. And as we inhale, we bring them up just to the heart center. We turn the hands out, creating this diamond, really pressing the breath and the hands away and turning it back in, bringing in new energy. And then we bring it back down. So it's an inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Close the eyes or just deadpan stare forward.
Gently slow it down. If you find yourself moving fast, if you at a good pace and slow, great. anything you're aware of in your energy that needs to go just really try to pull it up and press it out then replenish with that loving energy that is life and bring that in securing us into our lower chakras security starts when we feel grounded in our root. If we have good roots, we can move through everything else with grace. If we're disconnected, we tend to be very impressionable, disconnected from that which we need just to get by. Let's do three more-ish, very slow. together if that's comfortable. Just really feel a softness in the body so energy can flow freely. When we have physical trauma, it gives that emotional energy and also other energies a place to go easily to store. So part of our pain is not physical. together and rub them. Heart center in, out. We'll do three satnams and an Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Satnam. 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 and healthy and feel whole. May we clear out the negative forces in our life so we can. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Also know that we have a Patreon and we are accepting supporters. The lowest tier is $5. That keeps things like this being made, helps support this path, this studio, these teachers. Thank you for watching.